It still works. Let's go. I guess today we're going to be playing as the convict. <laughs> Dude, I'm so surprised that actually still works. <laughs> I I thought that it would have been broken a long time ago. Why would it break? I don't know. Every once in a while Streamlabs does update their shit and so I expect stuff like that to get broken every once in a while. But let's play as a convict. We'll do a standard Gungeon run cuz that's that's what we do. That's what we do around here on the Gungeon Show. Who's that? Who's that? Hold up. I have to... Sorry, I gotta get the, the window set up in the correct place. Hey, Milk Jug. Thank you for the, uh... Thank you for the sub. How you doing, Milk Jug? Milky Jug. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping to have another kind of crazy Gungeon run today, because... Oh, that was so dumb. Because the past couple of runs have been pretty weird. Like, we've had a, a weird super spice run that we failed on, which, you know, isn't necessarily weird. It's just the run was weird because we had Lament Configure him plus a whole bunch of spice and no armor. So we got hit once and then died. And then what was the run after that? I can't even fucking remember. Look, these runs, sometimes they just kind of like merge together in my brain. If you want, says tonight is hopefully the night he makes it to floor four. Well, I hope for you. And gotcha. What? That didn't get the uh, the silver bullet. I do not believe that for a moment. Yo, I like using the sawed-off shotgun. The more and more I play as the convict, the more I'm like, the sawed-off shotgun is a really good starting weapon. Like it just does. That little bit of extra damage, it kind of helps out. You know, you can, you can, oh. You know what, let's pop it immediately. You can get to those, where'd the heart go? It's all the way over there. Uh, you can get to that lethal damage on the bulletkins with one perfect shot if you're up close. It's, uh, it's real nice, I like it. And of course, I the more I play, the more I realize I, I need to use the Molotov more, so let's use it right now. <laughs> I end up kind of like overusing the shotgun and then underusing the frickin' Molotov. Hey, come here. Walk into the fire. Step into my fire! He did step into the fire. Oh, I thought I could dodge roll through the explosion. But you know what? Losing a couple of armor on the first floor, who cares? I guess that's the thing you gotta watch out for if you are kind of abusing the uh, the sawed off, is that you are a lot closer to the enemies, you know? But still, there's something nice to just like one shot an enemy in the frickin' face and he doesn't have anything to do about it. He's just like, oh god, I'm dead! Ultimate noob, hello, hello. Oh man, my, my throat is so full of phlegm. It's because of the allergies, man. It's, it's been a weird weather the past couple of days. Hey guys, excuse me. Okay, I fucking, I hate the table slide. You, you're not even immune to contact damage over the table. Like, I don't know if I hit the enemy and then I stopped moving or something, but I, I hate the table slides, man. They just, they don't work the way I would expect them to work. I, I, I want an option, I want a flag I can set that is like, disable table flips, yes or no? That's what I fucking want, because these table flips are just absolute total garbage. They never actually work to like, prevent any damage it seems like, or these table rolls rather, that's the sliding. Ah. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing that I figure out a way of modding in or out of this game is gonna be, hey, can I stop myself from sliding over tables when I dodge roll? Because it is, it is, it is kind of dumb. Anyways, I wanted to open this up so that we could get a alternate gun. I know we found a secret room, there might be two. Uh, an alternate gun means that we have a chance of not getting a gun from the boss fight and we had plenty of keys, we still have enough money. And honestly, having the t-shirt cannon means that we have something that we can use against the boss here, even though it's not, you know, super outstanding. It is something. Honestly, I don't know if this would do more damage or if our, our pistol would. I think maybe our pistol does more damage. <laughs> 
It doesn't have as much knockback, but against a boss, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Mm. It's hard to say, honestly. I don't know what does more damage right now. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to like watch the, the damage tick up firing each gun. You know what I like about the t-shirt gun though? Better accuracy. It's got that going for it. It is definitely the more accurate choice of the two. And so if I'm just running away from the gull, it's probably the gun I'm gonna wanna use. Hello, Hans Yolo 666. We get the punch glove. Uh, punch glove is garbage. Can it even find secret rooms? I actually don't know. I assume it can because it has ammo in it, but sometimes these guns in this game, they behave a little bit wonkily. That's that's totally a word, wonkily. Hmm, <laughs> oubliette, sure. I like going to the oubliette. Oh, sorry for the constant muting and sneezing and coughing and clearing of the throat. Hopefully my mute button doesn't stop working, because if it ever stops working, and I just, you know, directly into the microphone, I apologize, uh, you know, immediately. In in anticipation of that happening, I apologize right now. It probably will happen. You know what, fuck it. Get fucking punched. I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went! I keep ki killing him by knocking him into the pit. That's not what I want. I'm gonna kill him with the punch so I can actually like get the charge up. Hey, we can do it here. All right, you know what? Pretty good at dealing with bullets, actually. Because it seems to, it, it does seem to have a pretty large hitbox at the end. Hold up. You know what? Bam! Get punched. Oh, it doesn't even do like any knockback damage or anything. Boo! I have to apologize for dying if I die. Well, I mean, hopefully I don't die. So, you know, there's that. You know what? Get punched. Even though I'm using this, I don't think this is a good gun. I'm just using it for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm using it because this is a gun that I just would never ever consider using at all in a run of Gungeon, in a like a real run in which I'm trying to win it, you know. But maybe I maybe I should try it because, bam! I do get this gun often in uh, BCDD 20T, and I'm always very sad when I get it. Hold up. I am. I can kind of see the value in it. You know, you charge up a shot. You get a kill on an enemy who is like really nasty or annoying, just like in one bullet. Occasionally you get a stun. Bonk, bonk. It doesn't do amazing damage, but I guess the damage isn't like completely garbage. Which is what I was expecting. Uh, not a mimic, uh, I'll open it. It's a pretty high quality chest. We get the metronome. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> you know what, honestly, that's something I do hate. I hate that you can't charge it up ahead of time. You can't charge up the stars, change your weapons, and then change back. If you ever, oh. If you ever change your gun away from this gun, you're not gonna hold on to that charge. But on the bright side, you know, it one shots a mushroom at full charge. I don't know, it's weird. Hey. What do you people think about the uh, the punch glove? Is this a good gun? You like it? You think it's total absolute trash? I guess you can get a double kill if you're if you're particularly 
lucky with your shot. I don't know, I'm tempted now to like try to fight the boss only using this gun. <laughs> Hello Indigo and Jornker, how you guys doing? You like the RL punch better. There should be an RL thing in the game. Like a Rocket League car that drives around and like er, 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 and it hits enemies and they go tumbling like a ball or something, I don't know. Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Y you know what, I guess a lot of that was metronome. I forgot we had metronome. You know, I could actually see, hold up. Am I just realizing something here? Oh God, this gun is so bad at, at close range. Maybe with punch glove, if you have like alpha bullets or omega bullets or something, maybe you could make it so that you could uh, like one hit kill a boss or something. But how would that work? It has actual ammo in the gun, you know? I would have to look up what the base damage is to be able to calculate how many damage upgrades you would need. I don't know if I don't know if um, a rate of fire increase actually helps with this gun. Um, anyways, let's grab ammo. Let me hold on. I, I want to look this up. Gungeon punch, glove, wiki. That's what that's my search term here. It does two. 100 damage with a charge shot? Okay, okay. All you would need is three double, is um, yeah, basically three double damage upgrades. And then you would be able to, to one hit, not one hit kill a boss, but do, you know, a thousand damage to a boss and bypass a damage cap. So if it does 200 damage per shot from a charge shot, that's pretty fucking good. Uh, let's open the chest. What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a passive or an active? It's gonna be gun. I'll take it. Why not? Let's see what the synergy is. All out of law school. I have no idea what this is gonna be. You know what? Ah, uh, but uh, you know, uh, let's not. Let's not get rid of the uh, the punch glove. I was thinking I might just want to chuck it, but let's hold on to it for now. I don't want to gun munch it. Let's just see what happens. But yeah, if it does 200 base damage, I don't think alpha. See, I don't think alpha bolts or mega bolts will do anything because it has ammo. You can see the clip here. So unless it's, unless it's literally your first shot, you know, way up here. Alpha bullets or Omega bullets aren't gonna matter. You're gonna need something like Curse bullets, Gilded bullets, Metronome. And Metronome, Metronome peaks at 250% damage, which means that 200 goes to, uh, let's see, plus 100% damage, plus 200% damage. It'd go to like 750 damage or something like that. No, like 600 damage. It would go, no, 100%, 200%, 250%. It would go to 700 damage, right? So if you had, and I will use Cold 1851. If you had full upgraded metronome with the punch glove, why don't, why, uh, yeah, why don't we actually try to see if we can make it work? Fully upgraded punch glove and then some more damage upgrades. You could, you could not one hit kill the boss, but you could do over a thousand damage, which means that you bypass the, uh, the damage cap. Bam. So let's let's see if we can make something like that work here. Probably won't, because we do need to pick up some other sort of a damage upgrade, but you never know. Hey buddy. Get punched! You know what? No charge. Hit him. Uh the charge didn't really work there when I wanted it to, that's weird. Well, you know what? <laughs> this might actually let me shoot it faster. I think it does. That's actually kind of nice. Battery bullets, it's so good. Dude, you fucking suck. I 
I want to save the the supercharge for the lead maiden that spawns in the center right now. Yep. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm I'm seeing it. Although this is gonna be a little bit tricky, cause oh, thank you, Guanstone. Cause this is a uh, mini boss who shoots bullets. Oh, damn it. All right, you know what? Colt 1851 it is. I can't change my gun or else the metronome breaks. I wish it didn't, but it does. Uh, let's pick up all the ammo. There's also a chest somewhere. Dude, we got the sling, okay. You know what, that's another way, another way that we can break. Dude, and there's a freaking Sinner Grace. That's another way that we can break the damage cap on bosses. If we get bouncing bullets, it's very easy to do because all you need to do, all you need to do with bouncing bullets is bounce the shot like three times and then you do 50, 100, 204. You do 400 damage if you bounce it three times. And if you can bounce it a fourth time, you would be doing 800 damage. Yo, this Colt is actually really nice. I fire three bullets whenever I reload. What? I love it. Yes, yes, yes! Easy reload. I think with the Colt, it will reload all bullets when I dodge roll. Reload roll, indeed. Okay, I like it. The thing is, is that I actually do want to get the reload out because the reload fires, uh, three extra bullets for some reason. <laughs> Why am I so fast? Hold up. Does Colt 1851 make me dodge faster or move faster? Oh my God, you fire so many bullets when you reload. Oh my god, you know what? The, the strategy with the Colt now is you actually just shoot and then reload immediately. I think that's the idea. These projectiles ignore tables when fired from behind them. Oh, that's nifty. Bomb. Hmm, I'll take it. Both of those kind of suck. I, I, did we pick up a gun on the floor? Get out of here, rat. Did we pick up a gun? We picked up... Yes, the sling out of the chest there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fully explore everything else on the floor. I'm gonna get up to the the blue chest but not open it. We're gonna fight the boss with this upgraded Colt and see what we can do with it. Dude, I love this this weird we've got going on here. It's actually kind of freaking awesome. Like it does so much damage. Why is it doing so much damage? It must be the metronome. And yeah, th that is another way that we could break the cap is that if we had um, a synergy with metronome that made it deal or uh, give you more damage upgrade whenever you get the damage upgrade, then we could potentially do it. Uh-oh. Why am I so fast? Hold up. Do I have a speed upgrade? I'm still confused as to why my speed is so effing high. I love it. Like, look at this. I'm a freaking Speedy Gonzalez over here. Also, we're wrecking this boss. The free bullets from the reload are just doing so much damage. Now, unfortunately, the um, the bomb doesn't do anything here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the bomb will just hit the water and then just go out, but, like, look at that! It's so freaking 
much damage. I love it. I hate to pick up the blooper, but I guess we will because it is a good gun. That's the biggest problem with the metronome is that when you pick up a gun, you switch to it. I'd actually like it if you picked up a gun and it didn't do that. But then again, if you can kill the rat, then you can you can abuse it on the um, on the late game. We we picked up a map. There's a secret room on the floor. You can abuse it in the late game by uh, dropping high quality guns and then getting your metronome bonus and then switching over to them. I've done it once before. You get like really substantial damage upgrades. Yep, no secret room. No secret room. It is turbo mode, but something is making me... Oh, we can get the pulse cannon. Something is making it so that I'm actually firing um, or I, I'm moving faster. I, it feels like I'm moving faster when I have the Colt out. Hold up. Yeah, you know what? You know what it is. The Colt 1851 is giving me a a larger distance on my dodge roll. Cause check it out. My shadow is right next to the carpet. I dodge roll and I'm on this other carpet. But then if I switch from the Colt to something else, my dodge roll doesn't even hit the carpet. So the Colt 1851 is giving me a longer distance on my dodge roll. And I don't think that's because of like a synergy. I think that's just because, or I think that is because of the synergy. All out of law or whatever it is, it's making it so that I have this weird reload that gives me extra bullets. And also I have a longer dodge roll longer dodge roll. But that's very interesting. I like it. Um, so we have a gun muncher. What are we going to gun munch? We're going to gun munch the blooper. And we are going to gun munch the... Let's gun munch the boxing glove. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I, I couldn't put my finger on it. Oh, that's so fucking lootly. I could not put my finger on it, but I knew that there was something going on there. I knew that there was something going on with that, um, with that Colt 1851. What do you mean, Jornker? He's just like, no! You know how long it's been since I've had the heroin on a good run? A long time. Heroin or Mega Hand. If we can get this damage upgrade really high and stack it up, we basically have a gun for the rest of the run. <laughs> you fool. You don't stand a chance against my heroin. Against my strongest heroine. I wonder if I could kill him in like a charge shot and then a small shot. Probably not. Because otherwise the metronome would have done it in one shot earlier. One shot now if it took two shots earlier. But we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. Hey, Viridi. Have your itty bitty itty bitty cheery bitties. Well thank you for the for the cheer. How you doing? I want to switch over to the Colt 1851 and try shooting it behind a table, but I also, I'm liking the metronome bonus. Oh right, also rolling reload. I don't even have to freaking reload the gun anymore. I love it. I can just like wait for it to start charging and then just do a couple of reloads. Oh, it's so nice. Yo, this is a shot. Fuck it. Don't be a gun. Okay. Well, I guess in that case, we're gonna just, we're gonna move the, uh, the metronome bonus onto new and new guns, I guess. Ah, that's the problem with metronome. It's like, what do you wanna do with it? We have an accuracy upgrade and faster rate of fire. <gasps> It's actually a good gun. 
See, that's the problem with metronome, is that you really want to like stack up the metronome bonus on one gun, but then you gotta pick up another gun, and when you pick up another gun, you lose the metronome bonus if you switch back. So you gotta think, well, do I wanna just like keep the metronome, metronome bonus active on this gun? Do I wanna change guns? You know, how do you wanna play it? And I guess how I'm playing it is I'm just... I'm keeping the metronome bonus and just switching guns. But you know what, because we have um, faster rate of fire and more accuracy, this actually does make a lot of sense. You know, guns that are usually considered pretty bad, all of a sudden, I think, are a lot better. Also, you can kill the, uh, the rats. Any more rats? You can kill the rats for a little bit of metronome bonus, too. Uh, don't care about any of this. Try rainbow mode with curse with the super big bullet run from a while ago. I, I'll, I'll definitely try out some more crazy runs, especially with rainbow mode stuff once I uh, have time to work on it. I just have not had time to do any modding stuff for uh, a few days here. I gotta spend my time streaming with for you guys and recording videos for YouTube. Yeah. Well, I was having fun. <laughs> we'll still have fun, but with a new gun now. It was in the other chest. Uh, it was HP, that's right. All right, Mind Flayer. I should have saved the bomb. But luckily, we actually killed the Mind Flayer very quickly there. You know what? Just pop the blank. Hey, I like it. Using, using uh, occasional bombs to help out. <gasps> nice. So, uh, we have the dragon fire, right? And the dragon fire has our, oh my god, I mean, I gotta take it. But the dragon fire had our metronome bonus on it. And I, I kinda didn't like that because the uh, we'll buy a key, and then we'll leave. I didn't really like that because the Dragonfire is a gun that I'm not the biggest fan of. It doesn't seem to really have that great total damage potential. Like, it fires quickly, but it has a long reload. The damage isn't, like, super fantastic. With the metronome, it seemed nice, but now we... Now I'm just gonna be using... Oh my god. I'm gonna be using the fucking golden gun. Until it runs out of ammo, I guess. Oh yay, we got a maximum metronome bonus right on fucking time. Oh my god, there's more of them. Give me an ammo after Gimme ammo! These guys just eat up my ammo. That's the name of the run. The run is I gotta use whatever gun I have. You know what? It was worth it. It was very much worth it. And now, unfortunately, we gotta change. But hey, we can go back to the heroin at least. Oh. Missed my shot. Missed my shot again. No, he's gonna shoot! Is that just a motherfucking chest? I'd love to open it, but I wanna see what's in the other chests first, you know. Guarantee ourselves a passive, active, and a gun. And we'll go from there. I mean, here's the thing. Golden gun. Really fucking good. But also not what you want when you have nearly max metronome bonus. <laughs> I could try to dodge roll and kill the spent. The problem is, is that they don't die in one roll. And, um, you know, I'm not immune to contact damage or anything like that. They'd still hurt me if I touched them. 
I would like it if the spent uh, didn't do contact damage except when they're doing their attacks, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I'm pre pretty sure they can just hit you at any moment in time. Hey, dude. You know what? If we want to, we can buy a barrel. Barrel. If we don't like whatever our gun is and we want to keep the metronome bonus active. Fish in a barrel would be okay for a boss fight, probably. We are immune to electricity, by the way. The, um... Electric bullet item, battery bullets, it now does give you, in AG and D, it gives you electrical immunity. Which is fantastic because it means that you are also immune to stuff like Shockwave in DD20. So this that's a it's a fantastic pickup now. Previously it was one of the worst pickups in DD20 mode because in BC DD20 T especially, because if you picked up like a um a gun like the I'm trying to think of the name of it. Uh, compressed air tank. Compressed air tank would just kill you, probably. Because you would just constantly be spawning uh, water, and you would be instantly electrifying the water, and it would be under you immediately because of the way that the sharks come out of the gun. But now that battery bullets makes you immune to electricity, you're immune to that kind of BS effect, and you also are immune to uh, shockwaves, which is very nice. Hey, dude. Dragonfire is just a buffed machine pistol. Is it even though? Is it even a buffed machine pistol or is it just a machine pistol? Or is it a worse machine pistol, honestly? Ow, quit it. Oh. And get frozen. Oh man, Winchester's game. I might not even be able to do the game because I think when it changes my gun, I'll lose metronome. But I honestly, again, I don't quite remember because freaking metronome is weird. Oh, it's so good. Kill him in one shot. It felt better with the uh, golden gun, but I don't have the golden gun ammo anymore. It is gone. You like that shot? Two bulletkins, one bullet. Except it wasn't a bulletkin, it was an explosive grenader. You do think that the dragon fire is a, is a buffed machine pistol? I don't know, honestly, I might rather prefer machine pistol, because the machine pistol has really easily accessible synergies, you know what I mean? Fuck it, we're, we're doing it. I mean, I said we would just change to whatever gun we picked up, so. Now we're basically one hitting enemies with the sword. Except for these guys, they have a lot of health. I think we are at the maximum damage bonus with the sword now, dude. That's a lot of damage. Let's fight the boss. Of course. You know, on the bright side, Sword actually makes this uh, a very easy fight. Admittedly, if you don't have a damage bonus with the sword, it takes a long time, but because of our ma massive damage bonus, it actually should not take very long at all, and we won't get hit by the, uh, the wall at the end. Because base damage on the Blasphemy is pretty good, but a lot of the damage comes from the sword swing, you know. There we go. Yeah, that's the way I think about it. Is that I think the, the machine pistol is probably just straight up better. Uh, dude, fuck it, why not? Old Knight's Flask. Um, do we have any keys? Yes, we do. Let's open this chest. Well, too little too late for the Gun Knight, but he tried. He tried to show up on this run. He's like, ah, don't forget me. Sorry, Gun Knight. A little too late. Uh, let's use. Hmm. Bubble Blaster. <laughs> 
Winchester's game. Ah, fuck him. That Winchester's game is kind of t difficult. I don't know how to hit the one in the back and the one on the bottom left, so I'm just gonna skip it. Honestly, you know what? I'd probably just prefer to save my money for something on this floor. Yo, why are the enemies faster on this room? Must just be because it's an Ashen Bulletkin. Thank you! So the thing about the Bubble Blaster I'm noticing is that it's actually a little tough to get the kill with Bubble Blaster. I'm getting the kill with the electricity half the time, and that's not giving me, um, oh fuck, that's not giving me metronome value. Yep, the other thing is that the um, bubbles, you have to reload into them in order, like near them in order to actually push them. So it's actually also tough to just get started because you have to be really close to the enemies. I'm just gonna go back to the heroine. I think at this late stage of the game, you're probably done with m close range melee stuff like the, um, like the uh, uh, Bubble Blaster, KC, short range blasphemy plays, that kind of stuff. Although with the blasphemy, at least you can break bullets still, you know? Why are the enemy bullets faster? I don't get it. <laughs> Something's up here, game. Oh. Completely forgot about chaos bullets too. Chest, drum clip. Wait, we have a synergy with this, don't we? Metronome? You were just saying it! Someone just put that in chat. The metronome it, plus a drum clip makes it so that the metronome gives you more of a damage bonus when you use it. So now we have like an insane damage bonus with the metronome whenever we pop it. Dude. I love it. So now our damage bonus with the metronome is gonna go up and up and up. And I think it's good, instead of capping at like 250% damage, it might cap at like a thousand damage or something silly like that. Like a thousand percent damage. No, it would cap at 750, wouldn't it? So all I would need to do is to pick up the, like, the sling right before the boss fight, but the problem is, is that I can't really do that, can I? I can't really control what uh, guns we're gonna pick up. I, I didn't kill the rat on this run, I skipped the rat, so I can't actually, um, you know, like drop a gun for the metronome bonus play later, which is a really nice, a really cool play to do. With the metronome, you just drop a gun at the beginning of the floor. If the rat's dead, you pick it up before the boss fight and then you just go to town. I might also run out of ammo here soon. But what I'm hoping, I'm actually hoping I can find a chest, find a key, and then open up the chest and get a new gun. Well, we're halfway there. We're halfway there, whoa! Living on a prayer, picking up a new gun! Ah. While he's materializing, you can't hit him. He's just a skeleton. He's just a skelly shellyton. Okay. Yo, we've done it. Sticking with one gun has worked. Now the question is, can we actually get the like 1,000 uh, damage per shot with the metronome by the time we hit the dragon. Is it even possible? I don't freaking know. So here's what I'm gonna do. Charge my shot first. I am going to finish the floor. I'm going to come back here, open the chest, see what gun it is, and then decide whether or not to take it based purely on the question, can I one-shot the dragon with it? This would be the perfect time to have killed the um, the rat, by the way, because now I would just totally love, it's like pink now. I would totally love to just be able to um, drop the sling, pick it up, 
bounce it a couple of times, get double damage, one shot the dragon. Because we could definitely do it had we killed the uh, the rat on this run, but I didn't kill a rat. I wanted to say F the rat and not worry about him. Um, Vorpal shots might do it. Uh, probably not though. Why is it pink? I don't ever remember getting pink before. I guess that means the damage is just crazy fucking high. Oh, now it's going like whitish. I love it. I love watching it get higher and higher. Yes, yes, the power. It would be nice to watch you transfer the uh, makeshift cannon the metronome bonus on the makeshift cannon. I mean, if I could get the makeshift cannon, dude, I would love it. Yeah, more power! Well, this is as much power as we're gonna get, which means let's open up the green chest, hope for something that can one-shot a boss. I think we've fucking done it. I think we've done it. One shot, we get one shot and then we have to change our gun, but this might one shot the the dragon? It, it, you know, it might not one shot the dragon, but it's gonna fucking hurt. <laughs> it's gonna fucking hurt. Oh my God, let's see. Is our damage upgrade high enough? Probably not because it's only the metronome bonus, but let's see. You only get one shot, don't miss your opportunity, and it only comes once in a lifetime and shit like that. Nah. Well, there it goes. <laughs> Our attempt has failed. We didn't have, you know, like max maximum metronome bonus, and I think even if the metronome does max at 750% damage now that we have the synergy, it would still take Oh my god, it doesn't even kill one of these guys in one shot. It would take um, another damage upgrade on top of that to make it one-shot the dragon anyways, right? Because if, if um, Dueling Laser's doing 100 damage, it's gonna take another damage upgrade to get it over 1,000. Either way, you know what? We tried it. We tried it. The metronome power was not powerful enough. But it doesn't matter, the dragon's fucking dead. Easy peasy fight. Man, I, that, that's something that I am going to have to try to like find a way to mod in, is that I hate how the bosses even have a damage cap, and then it, it can be broken completely at a thousand. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's cool when it happens, but I would just much prefer to just have, you know, scaling damage over the cap. You know, your damage gets reduced 50% for the first um, standard deviation over. It gets reduced another 50% the next standard deviation over, you know. So that firing more bullets, firing faster, is always something that's worthwhile to do. That's what I want. But it doesn't matter, there we go. Dragon's dead. There's our flawless, there is our lead god. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. No keys, so we can't actually do anything with map man, unfortunately. Can we just buy? A new gun? No, we're too short! Oh, fuck you too, game. Uh, I guess in that case, we'll just get like golden gun ammo and then leave. <laughs> this fucking dragon, man, this dragon. Let's use the pulse cannon. We haven't used it at all yet. I used it for one shot and then I'm like, eh, you know what? With 120 rounds, it might not get to the boss fight. Close. I I don't think we were far off. 
from the, uh, like, po possibly one-hit killing the boss or something. I don't think we were far, far off. I will say, I do like, oh, you motherfucker. I do like this room for charging up the uh, metronome bonus. And then we, we got hit, so we lost it. But hey, we found a gun muncher. Maybe what we can do is like gun munch guns just before they run out of ammo and then keep our, our metronome bonus that way. But I'm pretty sure if you gun munch a gun, it will just um, lose your metronome bonus anyways. But hey, you know what? We'll, we'll give it a fucking try. You can make that dodge, it's just very tricky. You have to be fucking perfect on your, on your roll. You know what, let's not even worry about it. <laughs> hey. Oh hey, drum clip. One thing about the Pulse Cannon is that it doesn't really hold a lot of ammo, but I guess with the Drum Clip, I don't really have to worry about that quite as much. Now we are getting to the point where this thing is able to kill enemies in one shot, which is nice. Pulse Cannon's good. It has good knockback. But without damage upgrades, it is a little bit underpowered, I think. Careful. But now that I'm kind of able to rock the metronome bonus with it, I think uh, it's going a lot better. Well, there goes the metronome bonus. You know what? There goes the metronome bonus. Let's see what happens if you fucking gun munch it. Buy pulse cannon. You're not you're not doing it for me anymore. Yeah, you do lose the metronome bonus. So let's get rid of a couple of these guns. Let's get rid of the sawed off t-shirt cannon. Bubble Blaster. Get rid of the Flash Ray. Hey, it paid out. Blech. Black Hole Gun! Won't you come? I like the Black Hole Gun. I never get this gun anymore! Alright, get sucked. Better start running, dude. You're gonna get sucked. Do 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 da do 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 do. I I figured something out the other day. Or actually, I read it. Um, so there was a great synergy with Abyssal Tentacle plus Black Hole Gun that would make it so that the oh you're not dead yet, are you? It would make it so that the Black Hole fired tentacles. But apparently they removed that synergy from the game. Apparently it was too strong, so they removed the the hell hole synergy, whatever the hell it was. <laughs> whatever the hell it was. I was very sad about that when I realized that because that was a great synergy and I loved that synergy. Like, oh, oh, it made the abyssal tentacle like worth using. There they go. And now you can't even get it anymore. These freaking guys! Uh, please, charge. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not getting any uh, any kills with the black hole gun, really. And get sucked. You know, we actually are getting some kills with the black hole gun now that I think about it. Oh, you're not gonna get sucked. Actually, you know what? You are gonna get, you got sucked in. You fool, you magnificent fool. He's not gonna get sucked in. He got killed though. I guess we are getting a, a damage upgrade with the black hole gun. All right, you get sucked, enemies will spawn. <sighs> yes, yes. Black hole gun, won't you come? Is that Savage Garden? No, that's not Savage Garden. Sound Garden? Ah, something garden, right? 
Hey, dude. Get sucked. We're gonna have to change guns. Uh, I need something that I can actually like shoot bullets. This'll work. This'll work fine. Oh, nice shooting there, Tex Avery. If only I had like a six million percent damage upgrade thanks to the metronome. Alpha bullets, omega bullets, you'd be dead already. You have pretty much unlimited suck power. Don't throw my gun! I want this on the end screen. No, pick it up, pick it up! Freaking game? <laughs> you got black hole gun earlier, you hated it? Or maybe Magnum 38 synergies, if that's what you're talking about. Dude, black hole gun is awesome! You just fucking suck everything in. Oh, God. Don't stand there. Hey, oh. I was worried, you know what? I, I wasn't gonna say it, but I was worried about that exact thing happening. It's like, if he, if he shoots bullets from the side, it could cause me to take some damage, and he did it. He did the one attack that I couldn't, can't, you know, counter with the black hole suckage. Hey. Well, this is certainly one way of doing the fight. Black hole gone, won't you come? And something, something, singing out the rain. Look, I don't fucking know music, okay? I don't know anything about anything. I know what's a good gun in Gungeon. That's about it. That's the extent of my knowledge. I just like saying, Black Hole Gun, won't you come? The, uh, the one where he just twirls in a circle, so he'll just be sitting here for a moment. Don't mind him. Also, don't mind the man behind the curtain. Yeah, you, I mean, you're, you're getting sucked. I mean, let's just be honest. There's nothing you can do to prevent the power of the suck, and in fact, I'm gonna bash you with my freaking sword. How do you like that? You Look at this slow sword. I love it. Got the most OP gun in the game right here. Might not be the most OP gun in the game. It's pretty fucking good though. Yeah, I think we got gotcha. you. I think we got gotcha. you. And this was with mod the Gungeon installed. <laughs> yeah, I think that's something that I am gonna kind of focus on trying to mod soon. Is Making it so that the there is no hard cap to damage against bosses, but instead extra damage just gets applied at a, at a decreasing rate. Because it is fun to just wreck bosses, and it is fun to wreck them with, you know, three shots from combined rifle duct taped to the flame hand. But that just kind of makes the bosses trivial if, you, if you're doing that much damage to them that you're able to hit the cap. But in any case, that was a pretty good run. Some pretty good synergies. Uh, I guess we should have fought the rat as soon as we picked up the metronome. But I don't remember when we picked up the metronome. I don't know if that was the third, uh, the second floor or the third floor. You know, after we, we passed up buying the key. 
Because if we can kill the rat with the metronome, we can very easily, you know, drop the sling when we open up a floor, you know, use heroin to, to kill the floor, get as much of a damage upgrade on the metronome, metronome as possible, pick up the sling, and then the metronome is all of a sudden doing... No, wait, if, if it's doing 250, then it'll do 625% damage up. And if we bounce the sling once, the sling is doing 160% 160 base damage, which means that with one bounce of the sling plus fully upgraded metronome, you can one shot, or you, again, I keep saying one shot, you can break the damage cap on the dragon, I'm pretty sure, with a max metronome sling. Which would have been nice if we had killed the rat, because then we could have done that. But anyways, good run. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.